Kim, what is our third main topic today? All right. This is coming from Adam Lonley. With a number of big name directors like Scorsese and Denis Villeneuve bashing comic book films lately, it was really nice to see another well-respected director like Paul Thomas Anderson coming out to defend them. Curious if you saw his comments about him enjoying them and that and that notations that comic book films are ruining movies are misplaced. He even suggested they're all looking to Spider-Man to save the movies. What do you think about what Anderson said? All right. Thanks a lot for saying that in. And yeah, listen, you're not wrong. I, I feel like every two or three weeks, there's a story in a headline about <laughs> new famous director bashing on comic book movies. Rah! Grandpa's out again. My movies would be making a billion dollars if it wasn't for those comic book movies. No, your movies were never going to make a billion dollars with or without comic book movies. But yeah, rah, it's those darn kids. It's like the, the weekly Scooby-Doo villain. Rah, and I would have done it too if it weren't for those stupid kids. And what did Marty Scorsese say? Oh, no, 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 no. It wasn't Marty Scorsese. It was Ridley Scott saying, oh, those darn millennials in their Twitters. And they're is their they're tweeters and their tweakers their, their tweeters is why <laughs> my movie didn't do well grr those damn kids when they're tweeters um yeah it feels like every other week we're getting stuff like that whether it's a marty scorsese or a denis villeneuve even or or a ridley scott or whatever and that's just kind of becoming commonplace that these more i don't know for lack of a better term art house directors coming out and bashing on them and that's kind of become a common thing. It's nice, you're right, to see the director of Inherent Vice, the director of There Will Be Blood, the director of The Master, the director of Phantom Thread, to come out and say, whoa, hold on. So Paul Thomas Anderson was talked about this. Uh, this is what Paul Thomas Anderson has to say about it. I mean... It seems that, that there is a bit of a preoccupation with superhero films. I like them. It seems to be something that's popular these days to sort of wonder if they're ruined the movies and all this kind of stuff. I just don't feel that way. I mean, look, we're all nervous about people getting back to the theater, but you know what's going to get them back to the movie theaters? Spider-Man. So let's be happy about that. Let me read that again yeah. because this is so simple, but such a concept that a lot of people seem to be missing i think they need to hear it from paul thomas anderson and say it again i just don't feel that way that movies that comic book movies are ruining the movies i mean look we are all get this we are all nervous about getting back to about people getting back to the movie theater well you know what's going to get them back to the movie theaters spider-man so let's be happy about that paul thomas anderson gets it he gets it Something that at time, and listen, I love, I make no mistake about it. Do not be confused. I love Marty Scorsese and I love Ridley Scott and I love Denis Villeneuve. So do not misinterpret what I'm saying here. My criticism about their position on this one issue. I love these three guys. I think they're awesome. But the thing that these guys seem to miss it's like, well, my movies aren't getting the attention because of these comic book movies. No, 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 no. There's a lot of attention to go around. There's a lot of attention to go around. But what these guys miss is that these are movies right now that are bringing the audiences to the theaters where others are not right now. And I've talked about this before, and people try to argue with me about it, but you can argue with me about it all you want. Experiences become habits. When I go to a great restaurant, like here's a simple thing, not even a great restaurant. Like me and Ray and our buddy Ryan may go over to Chipotle. No, no, not even Chipotle, uh, uh, Chili's. I, I like going to Chili's, don't know why. But we go to Chili's and we have fun. And I have a good time hanging out with my family and friends at Chili's. And we're having a good time, having some food we're enjoying, the sports on TV. Next week, when we're thinking, hey, there's not a lot going on tonight. Like, what do you feel? I want to go out again. I want to go again. To, and it doesn't have to be back to Chili's. Maybe it'll be going to BJ's or maybe it'll be going to Applebee's. No, and never lets us go to Applebee's. Take that out of the <laughs> equation. Or maybe it'll be to Red Robin or whatever. But when I have fun and a good time going out and just having dinner and having some snacks or some drinks with some friends, I want to do that again. When I go to the movie, you know what I want to go to the movies the most? 
when I come out of a good movie. Ah, there when you go. I come out of a good movie, that is when I am at my height of excitement of coming back to the movies. And what I think a lot of these people miss is that these movies are these movies like Spider-Man and whatnot. These are bringing the audiences into the theaters. And when they come to the theaters and if they have a great time, because remember that variety article, like 49 percent of regular moviegoers have not started coming back to the movies yet since the pandemic. And if Spider-Man can be the movie that breaks the seal, if Spider-Man can be the movie that breaks the dam and busts it open and gets people, we've had a lot of you guys write in on this show and tell us, haven't been back to the movies yet, but I got my Spider-Man tickets. Yes. Yep. Paul Thomas Anderson gets it. He's not sitting here saying, these are the greatest movies in the world. No, he's not saying that. And he knows they're not. But he's saying, hey, I like these movies. Guess what? There come people are coming out and maybe somebody wouldn't have made licorice pizza his his new movie coming out. That's got some best picture buzz going. Maybe there are some people who wouldn't make licorice pizza, their first movie back to the movies, but Hey, if they come back out for Spider-Man and have a good time, they're more likely to maybe want to come out and check out licorice pizza. And I just think guys like the great Marty Scorsese and the great Ridley Scott and the great Denis Villeneuve can maybe learn something from Paul Thomas Anderson on this part. And say, you know what, instead of seeing movies like Doctor Strange or seeing movies like Shazam or seeing movies like Spider-Man No Way Home as the competition keeping us down, maybe you need to look at these movies as the life buoy that's keeping your chances alive and be appreciative of them, even though they're not your movies, even though maybe they're not your kind of movies. Maybe you need to take a step back and see the bigger picture. Anyway... Kim, you hear Paul Thomas Anderson's comments here. What do you make of it? Oh, I was so happy to hear him say that because like I've said before, <laughs> we're better together. And when you face something, it's one thing to be competing with someone, um, you know, or my movie, I wanted to do better or whatever. When you're facing a global pandemic, <laughs> we are in this together. I want you to succeed so that I can succeed. And I want my brother over there to succeed so that my next thing that's coming out this fall will succeed because it's it's habit, it's mentality, and it's fear. It's overcoming fear. If your movie, you know, can, you know, some people are vaccinated. I think we're back to wearing masks. Or some people are like, you know what, let me just wear my mask. There are safer situations than there were before at the movie theater. And some people, it's been fear. So if your movie can help people overcome an obstacle to get back in the doors of the theaters, everyone from concession stands to the websites that sell the tickets to the people that work production to the actors, you're all in this together. I feel like right after the pandemic for Mr. Scorsese and Vinny Deneuve, there's no room to really criticize each other and go, oh, these things are bullshit. Da, 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 da. You need each other. You need each other. The world, there's new variants and all this and that. We all need to work together and you need to be happy for your fellow artists because whether you think it's art or not, the big explosions in the comic book characters, they're art. Um, whether you like it or not, you need each other. This is a symbiotic relationship. Get into it. Be happy for one another. I'm really glad he spoke up and said that. And you know what? Don't be afraid to be one of those that that likes it, that speaks up and goes, you know what? I like these. And by the way, it's not just the pandemic. Like Scorsese started making these comments. Even oh, I know. The pandemic, oh, yeah, right? I know. I know. It's He's just been a, on it's his just train a for a matter, while. Like you're saying, see the bigger picture. Yes. That we want the movie industry to be doing well. But we want e the movie industry to do well. To do well. And even though Scorsese has been saying this before the pandemic, you're also dealing with streaming right now. Yeah. So in terms of a theatrical experience, which um, I feel like Christopher Nolan would agree, in terms of keeping people in the theater, let's all keep that morale up and stop criticizing one another to get someone else to go, oh, well, you're right, then I'm not going to go see this. Yeah, yeah, and none of us are asking Scorsese or, or, or Scott to lie. Like, if they're asked, hey, do you like comic book movies? Go, no, they're not it's for not me. It's not for me. Yeah, they're not my, it's not it's my It's not bag. for me, but and go out and enjoy it and, and check it out. And I got a new movie coming out next week. Yeah, and then we turn to the camera and then turn to the camera and say, hey, Kevin Pahagi, thank you, by the way, for keeping people coming to the movie theaters. And then move on. And then move on. Anyway, yes. guys, the question is for you. 
What do you think about Paul Thomas Anderson's statement there? I think the guy is speaking a lot of truth. Again, no one's asking. He's doing other God's directors. work out there, man. Yeah. <laughs> no one is asking other directors to like something they don't. Just don't come out and actively bash on the things when these are the things that are probably keeping your movies alive. Anyway, what are your guys' thoughts on all this? Whatever you guys are thinking, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.